Hi, my name's Tony Pridham. I live in a little town called Goffs Bay, which is in the Victorian high country here in Victoria, Australia. I run my own gallery here with my partner, Nikki. As an artist, you're, you're always looking for a new way of, of trying to express your subjects. And the, really, the super-sized hyper-realism was something that really grabbed me. One of the first hurdles you, you, you need to cross when you paint hyper-realism is you, you've really got to pick a subject that's suitable to painting photographic. Uh, you know, something like a bird is, is quite challenging. Painting feather and trying to make it look photographic, I, I found extremely challenging. The, the next challenge was actually pick a bird that was quite small and quite brightly coloured, and the obvious choice was uh, the hummingbirds. After a lot of research, uh, we ended up deciding to go to a place called Tandan Yapa in the uh, Pacific Slope of the, the Andes there in Ecuador. It was a place where we could get really good access to the hummingbirds. They had lots of famous feeders there, so the, the opportunity was there to be able to get really close to your subject matter, which was absolutely critical. We To get the sort of reference we were looking for, we needed to be at least 12 inches from the subject. So. I lost count of, of how many photographs we took, but it was well over 4,000 shots and probably 99% of those shots were absolutely useless, but uh, the few that we did get that, that were usable, I was able to montage them, just combine different aspects of different things and ended up with an image that I was quite happy with. The painting took about three and a half months. I, I barely took a day off. I was so engrossed in what I was doing, but... Um, and I, I don't think people really appreciate the, the raw emotional investment that's involved in a piece like this and just the, the time that it's involved in it. But look, it's, it's a painting I'm, I'm particularly proud of and I'm certainly looking forward to doing some more hyper-realism in the future.